is up guys welcome back to life on the wrist hope you guys are doing well today well we're going to be talking about probably one of the most controversial watches that came out during watches and wonders this year and that is the automa pga black panther concept uh, watch uh, that they released this was released uh, last week i believe and boy did it have a lot of controversy uh, instagram really uh well uh, it really did show the uh, how opinionated the watch community is when it comes to watches that perhaps they don't kind of disagree with so what i thought i would do is kind of describe the watch in this video and then give you my thoughts on the objections that people have and 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 um and some of the things that i've been i've been seeing um i'll say it at the top of this video i do not have this watch in my possession so if you are looking for one of those videos um this isn't that video but stick around i'd love to have a conversation about this really interesting automat pg uh, Royal Oak concept watch um, if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like these types of videos and if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button for us for the YouTube algorithm so that these videos get to more watch enthusiasts who would be interested in seeing content about this Automa PGA Black Panther um, collaboration that, that they came out with during Watches and Wonders so I mean I I'm sure you've seen it. This is uh, an Automa Piguet Royal Oak um, that was released by Automa Piguet during Watch Some Wonders. And um, along the way, they were kind of hinting at the fact that they had done a collaboration with um, Marvel Com the Marvel comic book um, kind of series. This was a collaboration and many people were guessing about different uh, Marvel characters that they would be, um, they would uh, create these watches about. Um, you know everything from captain america to iron man you know you can name them very very easily um and then they unveiled this royal oak concept black panther flying tourbillon watch um that really took the watch world by storm and really created a lot of opinions uh, generated a lot of opinions on 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 all social media platforms um just to describe the watch a little bit um, itself to you really quickly. Um, the watch itself is 42 millimeters. It um, features kind of a slate gray blackish um, color with this uh, with purple accents both on the rubber strap and the um, hour indicators around the outside of the watch. Um, like I said, it's 42 millimeters, so fits um, it's it's on the larger side for AP concept watches, but probably would fit um, nicely if you have a have a larger wrist. Um, the watch itself. Um, the case itself is uh, sandblasted uh, titanium and it has this um, uh, a satin brush tita uh, titanium insert. It has a black bezel um, and um, is a, it has a 50, water, 50 meter water resistance. Um, but I think what really stands out on this watch is obviously you have the hours and minutes in the uh, hands and then you have this really interesting um, 3D Black Panther character that is in white gold. Um, that really takes up basically the majority of the dial and then at six o'clock you have a really beautiful tourbillon uh, from Audemars Piguet which if I'm completely honest I actually think that Audemars Piguet does um, does tourbillon watches extremely extremely well compared to a lot of other uh, brands that kind of just doesn't fit this, they always have very good executions and I actually think one of their watches the the Royal Oak um, tourbillon where it's just uh, the tourbillon on the dial is, is absolutely one of the best uh, watches out there um, this is a hand-wound uh, watch, has the caliber 2965 beating in it, um, and this watch comes in for about 150,000 Swiss francs, so not a cheap watch. It's also limited limited to, I believe, 250 pieces, um, so uh, fairly fairly limited to get your hands on, on a hold of. I actually wanted to start my thoughts on this watch with something that I did um, with the release of this watch. They ended up auctioning a unique white gold Black Panther variant of this watch that um, the hammer price was going to be donated to underprivileged youth and I thought this was a really great way of uh, releasing a, a limited edition um, at Watches and Wonders. I think if we can do if we can do something when it comes to charity and, and watches are able to um, help charities for um, groups like underprivileged youth this is a great way to do it. That unique piece ended up going for 5.2 million US dollars and so it's really nice to see that um, while Automa Piquet is a watch manufacturer, they're also doing something uh, for charity here. Now, like I said, this is a very opinion. This is a watch that created a lot of opinions on social media, and most people uh, <laughs> made cries for help when, when they saw this release. I think a lot of the times when people, the reason why there was so much controversy around this watch is that it's so different than what Automa Piquet typically makes. When you think of Automa Piquet, you think of 
one of the high horology, uh, one of the Holy Trinity uh, watch companies that does very, very serious watches, uh, creates very, very serious um, watches and, and is a very serious watchmaker. And it's weird to see that they would come together with a Marvel comic book, with a comic book uh, character and create something, um, something like this. And so a lot of the people on Instagram are posting pictures of this watch and then the very classic Royal Oak, um, just the, the, the St. Bowers when it's seconds complications uh, version of the Royal Oak where it's just, you know, you, when you compare it, you're like, how is, this, how is this even possible? That a brand that can create something so classic and desired can create something um, so overt and, and the way that they put it a lot of the times is just gaudy. And, um, and you know, fair enough. If that, if you are looking for something very classic, that's very, that's that's a fair fair shout. Um, but Audemars Piguet does create other watches. You know, they do create things like the Offshore, where it's a little bit more interesting. They do have other concept pieces that they've created in the past um, that look very very similar to this. And so, um, while while it is a is a it is a valid opinion to have, you also have to look at the fact that they are doing other things. Um, and maybe you don't like that either, which is fine. Um, but um, it is it is something else that they're that they're trying to do. Um, the other thing that a lot of people are talking about is the execution here. So um, when you look at this watch, uh, basically the biggest thing that stands out about this watch is the fact that there's this massive Black Panther character on, the, on that takes up the entire dial. And a lot of people are saying, wow, that is, that is a big, big, um, big, big statement. And it's basically the only focus about this limited edition watch. Um, and a lot of people were saying, yeah, maybe you could do something a little bit more subtle where you have the colors of Black Panther and then maybe on the reverse you have something um, a little bit more interesting um, with a with a Black Panther uh, motif. And I think that's fair. Um, I think it's fine for, for people to say, you know, you can do it differently. Um, but at the same time, this is the execution that they come up with. And, um, you know, would it, would it really stand out as a limited edition and be something completely different um, with this concept watch that they're creating? Who knows? Um, but I think the biggest thing that people are talking about is why the heck would Automa Piguet partner with Marvel? Um, this is a serious watch brand and you're partnering with a comic book um, company. Um, you know, why would you put something so massive on the dial on this watch that, that really takes away from it? You know, comic books and, and characters like that don't really have a place in in um, in watches, and I would disagree with that. I would I would seriously disagree with that. Um, I think if you can create something special with a with a watch brand, I think that's possible, and we've done it in the past. We have Mickey Mouse watches, um, and if I'm if I remember correctly. I, every kind of watch uh, watch collector always finds Mickey, Mickey Mouse watches interesting and they pay a lot of respect to them and they actually are super desired by vintage watch collectors and even modern watch collectors. Another great example of this is Snoopy. Um, yes, it has that connection with the Snoopy Award, which is something that NASA did um, for, for their, for their um, watchmakers, but there are Snoopies on, on dials of watches and people find those extremely desirable as well. Yeah, maybe they're a little bit more subtle than this, um, but they, but there's still a place for them in in, in watches, um, and so I don't think this is the first time we're going to see this, and I don't think it's the last time we're going to see this. At the end of the day, these are 150,000 Swiss franc watches, and there's only 250 of them, and I guarantee some people who are interested in Audemars Piguet are probably going to eat these up, and I, there probably aren't any left, um, in in you know for sale right now. I bet you they are all gone um, because. People who are who are um, interested in the history and collecting Arma Pige watches um, snap these up, and 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 because they find some sort of enjoyment from them, and that's what really matters. Um, I want to make that point pretty clear at the end of this video is. When you, when you collect watches, it, you should be collecting things that you really like. And I think Automat Piguet was trying to find something that maybe their audience would, um, would like. And I think they've done that. Um, they've created something that I'm sure is going to attract Automat Piguet collectors, Marvel comic book fans, and that's really the, all that matters. They, you know, as a watch manufacturer, uh, it's, it's sad to say, but they're trying to sell watches, and I'm sure that they did that with these 250 pieces. It's controversial. Um, but I guarantee some someone liked it out there. There's two. There's what eight, eight over eight billion people on this planet. And I guarantee there were 250 people who had the means to buy this watch. Who said that's pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put some money down for that. So 
Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this watch. I'd love to hear your thoughts. It is controversial, so please let me know in the comments what you think about this watch. Also, if you did not do it in the beginning of the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like these types of videos. And you like watches, you might as well subscribe to the channel and turn that bell, bell, uh, bell icon on. Uh, on so you're notified when we upload also if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button for us for the youtube algorithm that would really help us out and with that said guys thank you so much for watching and until next time